this cryptocurrency mystery, investors are looking for answers after $143 million first could not be accessed after the death of the owner of the exchange. So he was the only one who had the password and he died. Then authorities found the crypto wallets were empty. Joining us right now is the cyber guy, Kurt Knutson. Kurt, it's great to see you. And we've been talking about this now for a couple of weeks. Where is this money? Good question. Where's the regulation on companies like this? Maria, good morning to you. A uh, company based in Nova Scotia, and uh, they have just filed for what essentially is in the U.S. the Chapter 11 protection to reorg. Uh, this is Ernst & Young has been brought in uh, by those remaining in the company to try to figure this stuff out. Fact of the matter is, of about 110,000 plus uh, customer accounts, uh, they have zero access to them. And what this owner or this director of this company did was he was the only guy with a password and for protection, they take sometimes digital currency, cryptocurrency, and they put it in what's called cold storage, meaning it's away from the Internet so that no one can get access to it, such as hackers. Well, he's the only guy with a password. Then they finally break in to, to figure out what's in there. Nothing's in there. And then they find out that also he has apparently, through some not normal means, created 14 additional accounts. And right now, as this investigation is ongoing, they're trying to find out, is there anything more in those extra accounts, or did he create more than 14 accounts where this currency could be sitting? Right now, investors have, they can do nothing. They can just sit there and go, okay, we've probably lost it all. Kurt, it's Jonathan Honig. Something is tremendously fishy about this whole exchange of where exactly this, this CEO went. But what about Bitcoin, the big picture now? You know, two years ago, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies was all anyone investment-wise was talking about now. Is the fever back at all? I know it's had a little bit of a bounce despite this terrible news about this exchange going bankrupt. You know, cryptocurrency, uh, kind of good question. So cryptocurrency is very much hot in one side of the party, just like politics in this country right now really, really hot with those who love it and really not with those who don't. And so it's, it hasn't caught on in terms of, uh, say, the average investor or uh, as mainstream as we'd like. But as, as institutional brands uh, start to play in this territory and continue to, that's when it starts to stabilize. But you have stories like this, and this is what scares the heck out of so many people, as you have, indeed, a fishy uh, way this was set up. His death not fishy. He actually uh, had complications of Crohn's disease, unexpected, while traveling over the holidays, came back uh, or passed away, and then realized nobody had access to any of this stuff. It took months to get to it and then saw the kind of fishy stuff that was done before. Yeah, it's pretty incredible that a reward of $100,000 was announced for any information That's leading just to customer. this money. Kurt. So hopefully that does not happen to your exchange. Um, I've been covering articles on this, and I've mentioned in previous videos that diversification is key. And a great point they bring up is uh, with cryptos, uh, yeah, there's people that are very interested in the space, but for the most part, uh, you're not going to see a lot of growth in the cryptocurrency market until there's more use case scenarios and uh, more and more people are actually finding methods of profiting on cryptocurrency other than exchanges because really for now most profit made in the crypto world is off of just exchanges and their fees so uh, let me know your thoughts on this and i will talk to you guys soon